This first ghost video was uploaded to TikTok by user Sherman O'Neill. Apparently, while driving down a desolate Oklahoma highway at 2am, Sherman says that, quote, a ghost was recorded by one of his driver's cameras. Did you catch it? Captured on the trucker's dash cam, a mysterious bright white figure can be seen standing on the right side of the road. The highway is completely empty. No cars, no lights, no one around. And Sherman says that when his driver stopped to take a look, this mysterious figure was nowhere to be seen. Apparently, this section of the highway is completely desolate and no houses are around for miles. TikTok users agree with Sherman that this white figure standing in the road is a ghost caught on camera. But what do you think? Did Sherman's driver capture a ghost in their headlights? Let me know what you think. This next ghost capture you're about to see was taken by ghost hunter Rob Crabtree. While on a ghost hunt at Todd Morden Unitarian Church Graveyard in West Yorkshire, Rob, a member of a group of paranormal investigators, felt drawn to a specific gravestone. He decided to take some pictures, but didn't notice anything unusual at the time. However, upon reviewing the photographs later, he saw something unexpected. In the photos captured by Rob Crabtree, we can see a mysterious white mist above the tombstone. However, in this photo, the mysterious white mist looks surprisingly shaped like a woman in Victorian style clothing. Rob believes that this ghostly figure is that of a woman named Sarah Agnes, whose grave is beneath where this white mist was photographed. But what do you think? Did Rob capture a ghost on camera during his ghost hunt at the Todd Morden Unitarian Church graveyard? Let me know what you think in the comments below. This creepy video has been shared before, however, I haven't seen it posted on any other channels recently. The video you're about to see was recorded by a man named Steve Ballard while he was investigating the former artillery fort, Grain Fort. Grain Fort was constructed in the 1860s to defend the confluence of the River Thames and the River Medway during a period of tension between England and France. The tunnels are said to be incredibly haunted and the cries of children and wailing women have been heard echoing out of the tunnels late at night, presumably mourning the loss of their fallen military loved ones. Steve and his group decide to investigate the tunnels alone, or so they thought. This is being played about half speed. Yeah. Now watch. Now. See it? As Steve just said, did you see it? As the light hits the end of the tunnel, a dark figure appears out of nowhere and bizarrely walks straight through a solid wall. And just moments later when the light hits the same spot, there's nothing there. YouTube viewers were amazed by this capture, with many saying that this is one of the best shadow figures ever caught on camera. But what do you think? Is this really a shadow figure caught on camera or just a trick of the light? You tell me. This scary moment was luckily captured on the dash cam of a car following a taxi down empty streets at night. Nobody was expecting this to happen. quick flash of something rams straight into the side of the taxi, causing it to swerve and crash into a tree. The title of this video uploaded by user Wa Lao E Singapore is Ghost Rams Into Taxi. But what do you think? Is this something paranormal or is the mysterious light something else entirely? Comment and let me know what you think. 
This next horrifying clip was uploaded to the TikTok account, Fernando Correa X. Fernando and his friends were enjoying a day in the pool, filming themselves for their social media when they accidentally caught this terrifying moment. Behind the three friends, someone in what looks like a white dress with long wet hair can clearly be seen standing with them. She sinks away into the background and seems to totally disappear as the three friends dip under the water. Fernando claims that they watched everything back from that day and that there was no sign of anyone wearing clothes like that near the pool. Despite reporting the incident to the pool staff and reviewing the CCTV footage, no one wearing the same clothes as this mysterious figure was found. TikTok viewers were left horrified by this creepy video uploaded by Fernando, with many commenters saying that this creepy figure could possibly be the spirit of someone who drowned in the the pool. But what do you think happened here? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. This next terrifying clip was uploaded to the TikTok account Ashley Meredith 1529. Ashley has a baby monitor installed that sends notifications and videos straight to her phone. One night, while she was out of the house with her entire family, including her baby, she received an unexpected notification from her baby monitor. Surprised, she opened the app and was horrified by what she saw. These are the pictures I get from my babies baby monitor. Detects his face, movements, sound, everything. Uh, and send it right to my phone so I can see what's going on with him. Uh, one particular night, my husband and my kids and I were out and about and I get a notification on my phone that there is movement in a face. Mind you, my baby is with me and my kids are with me and my husband is also with me. So, of course, my mind goes to, oh my gosh, there's somebody in my house. So I look at my phone and this is what I see. What? What is that? Look at the eyes, the nose, and the face. And like, it's clearly a face, right? Like, that looks like hair, but this is clearly a face. And it's not my baby. Let's go back to reference what my baby looks like on the monitor. Clearly a baby, right? I mean, he's sleeping, he looks at the camera, like it's clearly a baby. <laughs> I have no words because I have no idea what this is and I've showed it to several of my friends and they don't know what it is either. And this is the only video I cannot play back. All the other videos of movement and motion and faces, I can play back except for this one and it's obviously very grainy. But I'm a little freaked out by this and it hasn't happened since. But it's been on my mind a lot lately because I don't understand how this, I mean, unless it was a glitch, which is possible, but honestly, it's a, it's a little unsettling because we just moved into this house a few months ago. So what do you guys think this is? A glitch or something else? I'm not sure. And we don't have any dolls or anything, so it can't be like anything in the crib because there's nothing. What do you guys think this is? Recorded on Ashley's baby monitor, a face that Ashley doesn't recognize can be seen. Ashley claims that at the time this face was captured, no one was in her home. What's more is that the video where this unknown face appears in seems to be corrupted and can't be played back. Ashley, who uploaded this video to TikTok in search of answers, says that she has no idea who this is. And TikTok viewers were horrified, but they left their suggestions in the comments. One of the top comments was by Laurie, who asks if Ashley knows the history of her house and that she should probably look into it. Another commenter says that this is the exact reason why they turn their baby's monitor off when their baby isn't in the crib, is they don't want any unexpected surprises like this. However, Wicked Lacey suggested Ashley use a couple of apps to enhance the grainy image taken by the baby monitor and Ashley made a video doing just that. Okay, sorry I haven't been on today but I did see this comment and I was going to give that a try to see if maybe it would look more like a glitch or like maybe my baby or my three-year-old got mixed in with an image. Um, but... I'll let you guys decide what you think. Um, I even reverse imaged it on Google and I saw nothing. So, hold on. 
This is what it looked like after I colorized it with just like the Colorize app. So, still the same, kind of creepy. This is what it looked like after I used the Remini app. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, a little more detail this time, like not sure what that is or that or any of that. Still a big no for me. So um, trying to debunk everything. I'll be working on it the next few days. I'm also looking up the history of the house. Yeah, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I don't know. I know I'm laughing and I know like, I'm, it's a nervous laugh. It's not like I'm taking this as a joke. Like I really, I just don't know. Like I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. It's just weird. That's all I can say. So I'll keep looking and um, we're gonna check out the attic in a little bit. So I'll let you know. So what do you think is going on here? Did Ashley's baby monitor capture the face of a ghost? Or is Ashley making it all up? Let me know your thoughts on this one. This next scary video was uploaded to the YouTube channel, Ka Records. There's very little information about the video, except that it was filmed during an exploration of an abandoned house at night, where the explorers encounter a very scary surprise. As the explorers turn the corner, they suddenly realise there's someone watching them from the darkness. At first, it's impossible to see just who or what is watching them, but if we slow it down, we can see what looks like a creepy little girl with glowing eyes staring eerily at the pair from the dark depths of this abandoned house. They only catch a glimpse before the person holding the camera panics and they flee the abandoned house. At first, like this commenter says, it could just be a detailed picture that they saw. But going through the frames, you can see that this creepy figure is actually moving. YouTube viewers were left terrified by this video uploaded by Car Records, with many agreeing that it's a good job they fled when they did, as who knows what could have happened if they went in further. But what do you think these explorers caught on camera at this abandoned house? Leave a comment below with with what you're thinking. This next creepy clip was captured on a car's dash cam near to Cane River in Louisiana, USA. There's not much to go off other than the caption which tells viewers to watch out for the creepy girl who shows up. Did you see her? Right next to the busy road, a creepy figure, possibly a girl, as the uploader says, can be seen crouching in the grass. And as the car gets closer, it turns its head and stares directly at the car and creepily appears to wave at the driver. TikTok viewers were left creeped out by this weird figure at the side of the road, with many wondering just what on earth is a girl doing there at night all on her own. Some say it's a quote, phantasma, which translated in English means ghost. But who do you think this could be? Drop a comment below with your thoughts on this one. This clip comes from TikTok, uploaded by Malzi Ann on the 3rd of April this year, and has gone viral due to how creepy it is. The video shows Mallory taking a video of her child when something unexpected happens. Cheese. 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 <laughs> what you doing? What you see? What? Bubble. Lucy? Hi. Uh-uh. Who are you saying hi to? Who are you saying?
saying hi to? Dude, you need to stop that. You're freaking me out. Come on. While Mallory's child is saying cheese for the camera, he wanders towards a doorway. Then he looks up as if he can see someone standing in the room. Mallory asks, who are you talking to? To which her child says, Papa, and then waves happily at whatever or whoever is in the room. Creeped out by this, Mallory quickly checks inside the room to see who her child was referring to, but there's nobody in there. TikTok viewers have been left creeped out by this video uploaded by Malzian due to how believable it is. With one of the top comments saying that this is actually pretty common with little ones, his papa is watching over him. But what do you think? Did Mallory's child really see a ghost? Comment below and let me know what you think. The final ghost video comes from the popular paranormal channel Ghosts of Carmel Main. Kent Burris, the man behind the Ghosts of Carmel Main channel, has documented numerous video evidence of the terrifying paranormal activity he and his family have encountered in and around their haunted house. I've featured several of Kent's video clips before, and most people agree the videos are incredibly compelling. After calling off his investigations at his home, Kent decided he needed to take a closer look at the strange things that keep happening in his haunted house. This time, Kent hears noises coming from upstairs. Thinking it's his wife, he goes to check and ends up capturing this on camera. Kent hears a loud noise coming from the bedroom directly above him. He goes up to check, but when he opens the door to the bedroom, a mysterious dark figure quickly moves horrifyingly towards him and slams the door in his face. At first, Kent assumed he'd accidentally walked in on his wife while she was changing and she wasn't happy about having a camera pointed at her in her private space. But when Kent tells his grandson Jude that the noise was just his nanny up in the bedroom, Jude tells Kent something chilling. His gran was actually in another room on a different side of the house. Kent immediately checks and is horrified to discover his grandson Jude was right. He goes back to the room to investigate and captures this. No, I thought that was you up in the bedroom, I'm sorry. So I go back up to the bedroom and there's nobody up there, but there's something strange that was captured that I didn't see in real time. Did you catch that? Captured on Kent's camera but invisible to the human eye, a mysterious dark silhouette of a woman can be seen passing right by the window. The figure can only be seen for a split second, but if we slow it down, we can definitely see that someone or something crosses right in front of Kent. But well, this is far from the only activity in this house. Kent records multiple voices through his EVP device that mentions demons and that evidence of blood rituals have been found in the basement below Kent's house. Kent explains to the camera that he decided to stop all his investigations at his haunted house because every time he tries to find out what's happening, a member of his family ends up seriously injured or worse. But after giving it some thought, Kent decides to let one last investigator into the house to help him figure out what he's up against. Now, after the investigation, the activity in the house has increased, even in moments when Kent was not expecting to see anything.
while Kent is relaxing on his bed, a voice can be heard calling his name. Then, on the other side of the room, a strange white mist crosses in front of the wardrobe. Kent notices it and turns to take a look, and he sees something which chilled him to the bone. When Kent turns to take a closer look at the movement he spotted out of the corner of his eye, he's shocked to see something at the door. He grabs his phone to record it, but his memory is full, so he takes a photo instead. And captured in the photograph snapped by Kent Burris, we can see clearly a cloud of white mist in the shape of a human figure standing in the doorway. Kent says that after the photo was taken, the mist simply disappeared. Ghosts of Carmel Main's viewers were terrified by this mysterious dark shadow figure lurking upstairs in Kent's bedroom, and by this mysterious figure snapped in the photo. Many agree that the evidence Kent has documented and uploaded is authentic and true. But what do you think? Did Kent capture paranormal activity inside his haunted house? You tell me. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're a fan of scary content, make sure you check out either of these two videos here. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you'll never miss any of our weekly uploads. See you next time.